Now the next two functions which are very very important very frequently used in our day to day job are date diff and the network days right so let me take you to the power bi again and try to help you understand with the help of kind of real life examples okay now let me take you to the power bi over here you see the employee name and their joining date now what if we want to calculate for how long they have been working with us right so let's say this particular employee started on 1st of may 2019 so how long has it been when he started i mean how many months how many days or how many years has it been so let's try to find that how can we do that again let's create the new column from here and into that i'm going to start with calculating period in year right period in years i'm calculating right so for that you need to use date diff this function and you need to supply the date since when it starts okay so for that i'm going to use again employee table and in employee table we have date of joining and after that the end date we need to provide means this is the starting date and then you need to provide the date too which should be the end date so i want to calculate it as of today so for that today function i can use if you want to calculate it to some other day you must have a date column over here by which date you want to find this difference so primarily over here we are trying to find the difference between two dates nothing else and this difference i want to find in terms of years so these are the intervals which we can choose from so you, you can see day hour minute month etc so here we want to find the differences in years so i will choose this and hit enter close bracket and hit enter as soon as we do this we are going to get here number of years so you see this is saying it has been four years when this come in when this particular uh, individual had joined but what you see over here is each of them have joined on different in different months so isn't it something which could be discrepancy right so for that what we're going to do is we're going to find the difference in terms of months let's try to find that in terms of month how can we do that so for that what we're going to do is again create a new column and let's try to find the same thing in terms of month so i would say period in terms of month and for that i'm going to use date diff again the start date again my start date is going to be employee data table and from that joining date and the last date or the second date which i want to supply is today right and then i want to find this difference in terms of months now let's see how many months has it been all right this is the number of month so you see this is how you can find the difference between two dates in in intervals like year month etc whatever you want all of these intervals are given right so i highly encourage you go ahead and try them all now this is solved the other problem statement which i want to find is let's say i want to you know i want to calculate the number of working days which this particular employee has worked on so in working days saturday sundays are not included so excluding that how many working days that it, this particular employee has worked on till today right so for that i am again going to create a new column which i would say number of working days i'm just going to name it number of working days all right so hash generally indicates number of working days i'm not sure if that that's going to give an error over here let's try so for that we have a function which is called network days again we need to provide the start date so a start date i have in my employee data table and that is date of joining and then the end date which i need to provide that i'm going to give today and then other optional options it gives is weekend if you have weekends other than saturday sunday you can specify them over here if you want me to cover a uh, video separately where you have a different weekend let's say tuesday or wednesday etc do let me know i'll make that then if you have a separate list of holidays you can specify that over here again let me know into the comment if you'd like me to make a separate video i'm going to keep it simple which is difference between employee date and today 
right uh, sorry joining date and today and the weekdays will be saturday and sunday saturday and sunday is going to be the week uh, sorry weekend days over here so excluding that how many working days that particular employee has worked that i'm going to find over here so as soon as i hit enter that's exactly what i'm going to get over here so this particular employee has worked exactly 1122 28 days so you see the, this is how we can calculate the number of working days between two dates i hope it was easy for you to understand just in case of any doubt do let me know into the comments section i'll try to help you out thanks once again